Hi everybody, I'm Danielle Jameson and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing July 2016's Tokyo Treat box. This is the regular box and this is what the box looks like. I've been getting the premium the past kind of what one or two months now but I switched to the regular this month just to save a bit of money. This month is the anime characters theme and I'm really excited to get stuck into this crate so this is what it looks like. The little magazine that comes with every single crate, that's the front cover and that is the back cover. That's everything that's going to be in the crate this month. This month's lucky treat box. Every single month a subscriber is chosen at random uh, and they win this package. The first thing I picked out of the box is this right here. Milk flavoured potato chips. We bet you've never tasted anything like this. We're excited to bring you the newly released milk flavoured chips by Koikia. Not only do they smell and taste like dairy, they also have just as much calcium as one would expect in a glass of milk, making it a nutritious morning snack. Who knew you could have potato chips for breakfast? You do get a slight whiff of dairy um, when you open it. Pleasantly surprised. You would not think that these would taste nice, but they actually do. It's a really weird combination, but tastes absolutely brilliant. The next item that I'm seeing is this and this looks like it's some kind of prawn item. Let's just open them. Mm. If you guys remember last month's crate with the squid, I hate seafood like, but I'm gonna try one of these for you. They actually taste all right, to be honest. A lot better than the squid we had last month. We all remember that ordeal if you guys watched that video of mine. What is these? These are the Kokotama snack. Are you familiar with Himitsu no Kokotama? It's currently a very popular animation program in Japan. Every lovable character needs to have a snack product of their own. Give these cute crispy milk and strawberry biscuits a try and see how you like them. It looks like you get like a special something with it too. Oh, the smell is absolutely gorgeous. And I think they're little hearts too. I don't know if the camera will pick them up, but if they're like a light pink color, really cute. When you open the bag, you can really smell just like strawberry. Oh. They are really, really nice. I see Thomas the Tank Engine, Thomas and Friends chocolate pretzel sticks. If you're looking for a satisfying way to indulge, the combination of crunchy pretzel sticks drenched in smooth, creamy chocolate won't let you down. Featuring Thomas and Friends, it's a fun snack for an afternoon treat. Ooh, lots of chocolate. They're really, really long. Mmm. That is really good chocolate. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Anpan Man Ramoon Candy. Oh my gosh, I love Ramoon Candy. Do you love Anpan Man as much as we do? Check out these tasty Ramoon Candies featuring Anpan Man and his friends. They come in a variety of fruity flavours including grape, peach, apple and orange. Crunch right into them or just let it dissolve in your mouth. Oh, the smell of Ramoon Candy is, is just, it's, it's beautiful. I think this is a grape one. Oh my god, absolutely gorgeous. And I'm loving like just the little tube and the, the slidey. Yeah, I like that. that. That's fun to play with. Next item, and I'm seeing some Pocky. Brazilian Orange Pocky Summer Limited Edition. We're taking you on a mini trip to Brazil with Pocky's newest exclusive edition for this summer season. With a special Brazilian flavour of tropical orange, this perfectly sweet and citrus coating will liven up your mouth. We hope you love this light and tasty treat. Mm. You guys, I can't stop eating it. It's so good. Mm. Stop me before I eat any more. What, what is this? This must be the DIY for this month. Soybean flour moshi rice cake DIY. A famous New Year tradition in Japan is eating warm, freshly pounded moshi under a thick dusting of roasted soybean flour. We're bringing you something similar in the form of a simple DIY kit. I will do the DIY kit, but I'm going to save that for last, okay? Kalpis. 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 Kalpis gummy. Once you open this pack, you're instantly hit with a smell of sweet milk. These soft gummy candies are flavoured after the popular Kalpis drink, with a pocket of yoghurt flavoured syrup inside to give them even more flavour. It also comes in a resealable foil packet to keep things fresh. So that is what they look like in the packaging. 
I honestly didn't think I was gonna like this, but that's all right. The texture is a bit weird, like to me, because I'm not that keen on gummies. Oh, I see Pikachu. I see Pikachu. Pokemon gummy. You're going to have a lot of fun with this unique taste changing gummy packed in a cute Pokemon packaging. Comes three delicious flavors, pineapple, grape, and peach. Enjoy the flavors separately or be adventurous and combine them and see what fruity flavors you come up with. I'm just gonna try the ones now because I'm not feeling daring enough. Hmm. They're not bad. And finally, we have these fortune telling chocolate pills. Dagashi Kashi. Feeling a little under the weather? Take a dose of these delicious colorful chocolate pills made from creamy milk chocolate. This yummy treat will make you feel a whole lot better. Don't forget to check out your fortune once you pop out the candies. There is a separate thing for this here in the little booklet thing. Once you pop out the chocolate pills, you'll be able to see the symbols on the back of the candy. Those symbols have different meanings that will reveal your fortune. Let me start off with a pink one. Like there's a, a tiny little symbol there. Um, and there's like a key here. It says very good, good, not bad, bad. So on the back of here, I got like two circles inside each other. And that means very good because each of these has like a number and I unboxed number nine. So then you look at this on here and number nine is pocket money. So I'm going to get very good pocket money. Moving on to the DIY kit because this video has been long enough already. You get like this two little packages and you get like a tray and a spoon and what you have to do is you first of all have to put these little packages in the tray. Oh gosh and I got some on my bed. Ew. It's like a real crazy jelly stuff. Well it is jelly that's why it looks like freaking jelly. Silly 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 Danielle. And then what you gotta do is you've gotta sprinkle this roasted soybean flour evenly over the jelly. This is what it looks like. Let me just show everyone. I don't like jelly, <laughs> but I'm going to try this. Ah, I hate the jelly. The actual flour part isn't bad. It's just the jelly. Nah. -uh. No, 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 no. Where's my drink? Ugh. I'm really sorry, you guys. I just don't like jelly very much. So that is everything unboxed in this month's regular Tokyo treat box. I really do hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I really enjoy sharing these with you guys. I really, really enjoyed like everything in this crate apart from the DIY kit. So um, I really enjoyed everything in this box. I think it was a really good box. I do think it was definitely worth the money. So I just wanna say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what your thoughts and opinions on this month's box were and also what your favorite item out of this month's box was. If you're new here, make sure to click that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I do hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. See you later.